Hello, this is Mary with Mango Math, and I'm here with Millie to give a lesson tutorial out of our fifth grade math kit. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things Mango Math. Pop up the volume is a measurement activity in which students are going to figure out volume. And there's different formulas to figure out volume. There's base times height equals a volume, but there's also length times width times height equals volume. What I'm going to have the children do is spin a spinner, which is going to give them their base. In this case, they spun the number 36. So I'm going to write 36 here. And they rolled a 6, which is going to be their height, which I'm going to write right here. And then they have to determine what that volume is. And they are to figure that out, which they can do by just multiplying it and getting 216. But I want them then to determine what the length and the width is. And they can use their connecting cubes and put them on the board and build out their base, which I have a 12 by a width of 3. And then I still have that height of 6. Some other student might have had a six by six shape because 36 can also be made in um, factors of it are six and six. So they could have had a shape like that. So I want them to figure out what are the different uh, ways that they can make their base and so that they'll still have a volume of 216. This, like I said, the students can use their connecting cubes to come up with what that shape would be and to figure out their volume if they're not understanding how to do the multiplication that they need to do in order to get that volume. So enjoy doing this activity, having kids build their shapes and figuring out their volumes. Thank you for checking out our video and seeing how to play these great Mango Math games. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Mango content and check out our website at www.mangomath.com.